Hello Aquarius, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking about you? How do they feel about you? Um, how do they view this connection? How are they viewing you at this time? We'll also look at their intentions towards you and what do they wish they could tell you? All right, for Aquarius spirit. Messages for Aquarius and love. We'll look at how you feel about each other first. Messages for Aquarius. And then what are the mutual energies? What's going on in your connection? Messages for Aquarius, please. Tell me about Aquarius. How are they thinking or feeling at this time? That's way too many. I just want one. <laughs> how is Aquarius thinking or feeling about this connection? Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Okay, what about your person? Oh, separation for your person. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon or there could be an, a separation going on right now. Your person feels disconnected from you is what I'm picking up. Maybe they initiated a separation. Maybe they're undergoing a separation right now. We'll get into that. And then I have romantic feelings at the bottom of the deck. All right, so let's jump in here. Tell me more, Spirit. For Aquarius. If you're enjoying the readings, Aquarius, please consider uh, subscribing and hitting the like button. It is a free way you can support the channel and it helps the channel grow. Thank you to everyone who has already done that. And of course, if this is resonating for you in any way, leave me a comment and tell me how the reading is resonating because I'd love to hear from you guys about that. All right, tell me more about Aquarius. What energies is Aquarius bringing to this connection spirit? What can you tell me about Aquarius? Ooh, that one almost came out. What can you tell me about Aquarius? Eight of coins reverse. I feel like you no longer want to put an effort into something. Why? Give me more about Aquarius. Ace of Cups reverse, because you're tired of being heartbroken. So you're tired of being heartbroken, Aquarius. You've been through it. Now I have you on this side and I have your person on the other, but feel free to flip him if the energies resonate because they can be reverse. Tell me about Aquarius um, or the person that Aquarius is dealing with. Wow, that's way too many. These fell out too. Eight of coin, eight of wands. Okay, they could be wanting to communicate here. Tell me about the person that Aquarius is dealing with. What are their energies in this connection? Hangman. They're feeling a little in limbo here. Nine of coin reverse. They could be attached to something or someone still. Not fully free, uh, not fully independent here. It could be that they ha are not, they're still hung up on this connection between you. Bottom of the deck, I have the Six of Swords. It could be that your person in, is needing to leave something, a situation, um, in order to, wow, and I feel like this is a secret. I have the High Priestess right behind that. So it's, it's almost like they're just thinking, um, wondering, uh, maybe seeing something clearly, but still kind of stuck in limbo, not really taking action, basically. Can I get one more for this eight of coin reverse? It's kind of throwing me off a little bit here on your end. Why is the eight of coin? Reverse, Knight of Coin, Knight of Swords at the bottom. So you're wanting some sort of an offer or uh, wanting something stable, wanting the truth, wanting to get to the bottom of something here. Maybe you want something that you can't really work towards. It's, it's, it's I'm getting like almost like it's out of your control. Perhaps it's just taking a really long time to have something become solid or stable and it's taken a lot of work a lot, and, and I feel like maybe it's one-sided 
like the the type of effort that's being put in here. Let's see. Tell me more about the mutual energies here. What are the mutual energies for this connection? What's going on in this connection for Aquarius and this other person? What's going on here? What do I need to know about this connection? Stuck in the mud into the unknown. What? So, okay, your person, I feel, is feeling stuck into the unknown there's something here that someone is fearful about because they can't really see or they're blindfolded or it's not very clear the path is not very clear for them it could be that they don't have enough information to feel comfortable they could be stuck because there's something that they still don't know it could be you or your person because these are mutual energies here. Tell me more about this. Tell me more. What's going on in this connection? What are the mutual energies here for Aquarius and this person? What are the mutual? Okay, we got the Nine of Wands reverse, King of Wands. Interesting. So even though someone might feel stuck, uh, they're motivated. At least they, they're willing. They're just stuck for some reason. There could be trust issues here. Someone might not trust the other person, or it, they have just been through so much that, you know, it's not easy for them to get involved with someone else. Ace of Wands reverse. Something's not happening here. There you are, Aquarius, at the bottom. The star. I feel like even though something's not happening or it's taking a long time to happen, someone still has hope that this will be healed or that this will be able to move forward. But it's not. I have the chariot reverse. That's not stuck in the mud. Tell me more about the Ace of Wands reverse. Why is this reverse? What is going on in this connection? Tell me about the Ace of Wands. We got the Lovers, Tower, Reverse, High Priestess reverse this time. Four of Pentacles reverse. Okay, so Knight of Cups reverse at the bottom. So there's some sort of partnership here. Either someone already has a partner or they're deciding on a partner. Um, I'm leaning more towards they are already in some sort of a partnership because I have the Tower reverse. So it's like they're trying to avoid something here. They're trying to avoid a, a complete destruction. This is going to come to the light with the High Priestess reverse. All major arcanas here, by the way. These are major energy shifts. So someone's here. It's like there something's going to come to the light here. A secret will come out regarding the lovers here. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Pisces, another fire or fire sign. Now with this Four of Pentacles, this is someone that I feel has tried to hold back how they truly feel or what they truly think here. And it's like the, it, they're ready to let this go. Maybe they refuse to let go. Maybe they're refusing to open up and see clearly with that because I have a blindfold there. So it's like they're stuck in the mud because they are trying to hide something or cannot see something. Tell me if this is resonating for you. Is your person stuck in the mud or are you stuck in the mud because you're not sure how something's going to unfold or because you're trying to avoid a tower and you don't want something to come out here? There's a lot of like, um, it's like someone's willing to, to, to go after or is attracted to something. I feel like your person, like they, they, they have their eye on you. They're watching you. You're very attractive to them. Um, and it's like they can't let this go completely, but at the same time, they're stuck. Tell me about the hangman. Where's the hangman here? Again, with that doubt, that judgment came out kind of like in limbo there. Yeah, there's this like this doubt, this worry that something is not going to happen or not going to be successful. Yeah, and this is a concerning you, Aquarius. 
they're holding back because they're worried about the outcome of something or they're fearful or anxious about something growing, manifesting, working. Maybe a lot of time has passed here in your connection that someone hasn't done something and they're worried about how that's going to affect a potential reconnection. So let's see, what do you need to know? Let's just find out. What do you need to know? What do they want to tell you that they haven't told you? I leave those there. Spirit, what does Aquarius need to know? What does Aquarius need to know about this connection? What do we need to know? between Aquarius and this other person. What do we need to know about this connection? Well, okay. What, does, what do we need to know? We got death, three of wands, and the world reversed. Bottom of the deck, wow, ace of cups, beautiful. So before I clarify these, let's see, what can we get with my little homemade oracle deck here? What do they want to tell you? Or do, what do we need to know about this particular person? What does this person want to tell Aquarius that they haven't told them? I'm working on a physical deck of this. It's in the works, but for now, I'm just going to use my little homemade. What do we need to know about this person? What do they need to tell Aquarius? Ooh, soon I'm ready to commit. What? Something happening soon here, Aquarius. I'm ready to commit. So are they waiting for the right time? A transformation is taking place. That's that death card right here. Definitely a transformation here with death. Put this back here because I have no more room. Okay, so... What you need to know, there's some sort of change or ending taking place with the death card, Scorpio energy here. Someone's waiting for either the right time or has is expecting a message back after they've co communicated. Uh, maybe they're just, you know, waiting for the right opportunity. But with the world reverse, I feel like there's some sort of delay here in a new beginning. Um, it could be that there's delays in closing a chapter, wrapping things up. Uh, making decisions. It could be that there is a lack of closure here. Help me clarify these energies for Aquarius, please. Help me clarify these energies. Let me clarify these energies, please. Tell me about death. What do I need to know here? Someone's letting go. And the fact that they're letting go, and they, this could be letting go of their fear, letting go of being so closed up, letting go of being so guarded. It's going to cause a transformation here. Six of Pentacles reverse, Queen of Wands reverse. King of Cups. I feel like they're motivated by love. But they're still, you know, there's still that feeling of being stuck. So it's like, even though... They initiate some sort of change here. This Queen of Wands reverse, I feel if this is you or, or if this is who they're dealing with, there's some sort of block there. It's like, you know, they won't be able to give you exactly what you need to be, you know, it's like they, they, they are unable to fully give. Even though they have a lot of emotion here, even though there's a lot of love, they're unable to fully give. Yeah. Hmm. Oops, maybe that's why they're waiting. Why is this three ones? Maybe they know that this won't be as easy as they, you know, it's like in the back of their mind, they're thinking, well, if I start this, if I start this change, it's gonna take me a really long time to wrap this up. So I'm just going to wait for the best possible um, door to open for me. I feel like if there's a third party energy here or a third party situation, I feel like you're going to be resisting. Either you're going to be resisting or someone's going to be fighting this person. 
Queen of Pentacles, Two of Swords Reverse. It's like they're going to make a different choice. The Fool at the bottom. Have a new beginning, but, but they're going to face a lot of opposition when they do this. It's not going to be so easy for them. And then I have the world reverse right after. So it's like, you know, once they start, like, it's like once they undergo this. Okay, how do I explain it? So it's like if they make their first choice, right? Like the first choice is I'm going to make a decision. Okay. Now I have to do all these other things right after that to really finish this off. Tell me about the world reverse. Yeah, it's like they're not going to be able to really communicate here or move as quickly as they want to with the Eight of Wands reverse. It's going to be very heartbreaking. I feel like this new beginning would be really... It's like someone having a new beginning is going to cause heartbreak for someone here. Six of Swords reverse. Yeah, they're going to be blocked. They're going to be blocked. I feel like there's going to be some sort of communication, at least some small communication here. Tell me if this is resonating for you, um, Aquarius. Because I feel like this is something that I feel like you both know it's not going to be easy. This person's going to be blocked at every turn. Tell me more about the, actually, let me pick a whole different deck. Tell me more about the challenges or blocks in this connection. Challenges or blocks, please. Tell me more about the challenges or blocks in this connection for Aquarius. Blocks, challenges, hidden factors for Aquarius. Let me tell me. Let me move this over. Six of Cups, King of Swords, Reverse. Tell me more about the challenges or blocks here for Aquarius. Challenges, blocks, or hidden factors. Wow, the lovers. Strength at the bottom, Leo energy. I feel like challenges or blocks here, the main one, um, you know, I don't think, you know, these are great cards to have, but they're challenges or blocks. So this tells me that some sort of partnership or choice in partner in the past is a block. Could be that someone chose the wrong partner in the past and it's affecting you now because it's keeping things from being very clear. It's keeping communication from being fractured here. Why is the Six of Cups a challenge or a block? Eight of Wands. Nine of Coin. Someone I feel like, ooh, Ace of Coin at the bottom. It's like someone wants to, to communicate with the past, be, be independent, be free. They might see you as this nine of coins, someone who's very attractive. Um, they might want to move forward here with the past, move towards the past here with the eight of wands. Think about the lovers. Why is this a challenge or a block? I feel like whatever happened in the past, um, you know, it's like a past decision is affecting you in the present. Yeah, someone's stuck in a partnership or if this is not a loving partnership, it's some sort of situation that keeps them from manifesting. Magician reverse. What's this King of Swords reverse for Aquarius? Two of coin. Yeah. Someone needs to decide. And I feel like whatever decision this is, someone's not going to be happy about this. Yeah. Queen of Wands reverse. This Queen of Wands is not going to be happy about this. And someone, again, is still doubtful with the seven of coin. Like, will this really work out for me? Am I just making a huge mistake again? You know, that's what I'm really feeling here. So let's see, what's the potential outcome? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a couple cards for the potential outcome here for Aquarius. What's the potential outcome here for Aquarius? Spirit. What's the potential outcome? potential outcome please for Aquarius and this other person when it comes to love What's the potential outcome here chariot reverse okay so I don't feel like this is going to be wrapped up anytime soon Aquarius I feel like someone's still going to be stuck um, and you know it's like they want to return with this eight of cups reverse but they'll be blocked or delayed from that it feels like 
Hangman. Yeah, uh -huh. definitely. Bottom of the deck, four of cups reversed. So there has been some sort of change of heart. Someone has renewed interest in something. They want something again. You know, that's what the four of cups reversed is about. You know, I feel like your person, Cancer Energy with the Chariot, um, this is that stuck in the mud energy. When it's reversed, it means that someone needs to switch the path that they're on altogether or change direction altogether because right now, the course that they're on, there's no movement forward. You know, they're stuck, unable to move forward, unable to have that success. That's what the Chariot Reverse is about. And then we have the Eight of Cups reverse so this is someone that wants to maybe return that has already left in the past they want to come back um or they are uh prevented from leaving a situation so they're blocked or delayed from leaving a situation um, and it could also be that they don't even realize they have to leave a situation for their own good um so the eight of cups reverse has a couple of meanings there and then the hangman this is again more stuck energy. This is someone that is hanging in suspension, not really moving, doing a lot of thinking, a lot of reflecting. You know, I really feel like your person, there's something that they want. There's something that they're motivated about when it comes to this connection, but they're not making the necessary moves to make it happen. You know, I feel like as time has gone on here, Aquarius, your person has been getting enlightenment about a situation, maybe seeing it from a different angle or seeing it from your point of view this time. And I feel like that's caused them to have some sort of change of heart here with the Four of Cups reversed, you know? They're seeing something different and differently and so that's causing it, uh, their minds to change. And I really just feel like from all of the information we've gotten so far that it's, it's, it's almost like the feelings are not the problem. 